Okay, so what I want to do, I want to show you the multi-cut tool in 2020. Maya! Um, so some things to note. First off, what is it? In the poly modeling shelf, it's sitting over here. Just remember that, um, yeah, it's there and it's also under mesh tools. You can find it here, uh, multi-cut tool. Um, also too, if you hold down shift and you right click, there's some objects. I think I have to have the object selected. Where's the multi-cut tool? It's right there. Okay, so <clears throat> this is interesting. Let's go into the options box. Um, and let's see, things you need to know. Like first off, I'll just reset the tool. And you'll note that I can come across here and I can go clicky, clicky, clicky. Okay, and right click, that finishes it off. Or you can press enter. You can draw points out in the middle here. Uh, if I hit enter, that finishes it. If I hit G, um, G repeats the last tool command. You bastard. I sometimes find this tool is a little bit funky um, because you bastard. Right here, I'm trying to get this point and I'm having an issue. Okay, let's go there and over to here and right click. Let's just right click that thing and I've totally found an issue. Might be them in 2020, who knows. I'm not really crazy about 2020. Um, I'm just going to delete the history and see if that helps. I'm going to try this one more time. There to there. Okay, so I just had to do something like that and everything's cool. And I can go back like this. Great. So, um, <clears throat> what do we have? We've got this thing called the step snap. And so the step snap, if I hold down shift, it will snap to the center and then it gives you a percentage. Okay, so it has 10% increments. So I can hold down shift, boink, and then I let go of shift and then I can do it wherever I want to, knock it into a corner. Okay, that's cool. Um, you'll also notice that if I um, go in here and I hold down control, control turns on the insert edge loop function. Okay, and if I hold down control and then shift, you'll see that it snaps as well. Boop, so it'll snap directly in the center. And let's see, it's almost like I should put in the insert edge loop tool into this thing as well, just to talk about that. The smoothing angle is set to 180 by default, so that's good. You'll always have a smooth angle. That's why I think this thing is set to 30 in most uh, tools. So 180 is good, then you never notice the hard edges on your model. Um, and there's the edge flow. You can put that in. So uh, if you turn this on and then you hold down uh, can shift here, or control rather, it'll insert with edge flow. Um, let's just turn that off. <clears throat> and uh, subdivisions. So for whatever reason, if you're uh, going in here and you're using the insert edge loop, you can pop in uh, subdivisions and it gives you extra little edges in here. So you're getting extra vertices here. Let's just take a look. Why? I don't know why. Um, I don't know if I'd find that completely useful. Maybe one for some reason? I don't know. I can't think of it. So off. Off you go. Okay. So what else do we have on the tool? Um, I'll just deactivate it for a second. If I'm on this tool, there's ignore back faces. So if you have that on when you do one of these and you cut. Oh, what did I just do? I just clicked and dragged, didn't I? Didn't I? Hmm. So you can click a point here, you can click a point here, and you can change your angle. And if you hold down shift, it snaps to 15 degrees. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, and then you hit enter and it cuts through and it only cut through half of it, right? Because I have that thing on. Um, also too, you might see me doing this quite a bit. Um, I one day started horsing around. I just realized you can go whoop, 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 <laughs> whoop, there. Um, so, that's cool. All I'm doing is just clicking and dragging and letting go and it just cuts right through. Um, there's the delete faces function and when I have this and I click and I drag I get this funny little line. You can see this other thing that's poking out to the right of my screen. I can cut my cat's ass off. Ah! <laughs> and um, let's just, well no, let's let's leave the cat. Oh, uh, I just missed. So undo, uh, if I go and I hold down control and I drag, no not control, no, I just click click and I drag. I was just smoking crack again. Backspace, get rid of that point, and there. Um, I can turn that off. There's extract faces, and so when you do extract faces and you click and you drag, it puts a little section in here and you can control how far away that pops for whatever reason. Okay, there's color settings for your lines and things like that you can change. Live constraint options. Um, 
Hmm. You know what? I've actually never noticed this before. This is new snap to back face. What if I go in here and I turn snurface, snurface offset? <laughs> and I click and I drag? Did that do anything funny? Snurface offset up here. Hmm. I'm going to have to take another look at this. Anyway, I'll turn that off for now. Um, live constraint options. So maybe it was something to do with the make live tool. Uh, but the big thing I wanted to get to, because um, I primarily use uh, Maya 2019, I'm not touching 2020 until later on. And if you do want to find out what that is, don't forget that there's just tool help and that'll pop you up here and you can take a look from there. Um, okay, there's the keyboard mouse shortcut. So you just saw me do a bunch of stuff, right? And left mouse, you can click and you drag points to and just go and drag across your cat head and then you hit right click and you finish it off. There's control and that shows you how to insert edge loops. Control, middle mouse button, insert centered edge loop. So I hold down control and uh, hit it with a middle. It'll just go in the middle. Okay, and then there is middle mouse button, tweak, last point. Uh, so if you go clicky, clicky, and then you middle click, you can move that around. And backspace will undo, delete also undoes, shift left mouse button, that'll snap and uh, snap to grid, X, Y, Z. Commit to cut is when you press enter. It's right to perpendicular angles. Great. So, um,. Maybe one other thing I want to talk about here, and what time is that? 6.40? Good. I want to keep this under 10 minutes. Is if, um, let's delete the history on this cat. Um, if I go to the insert edge loop tool, um, if you go to mesh tools, there's the insert edge loop tool. Usually what I do is I hold down control and shift and I pop it onto my shelf because you might notice that if you're in the polygon modeling, it doesn't have this tool. So I'm middle mouse clicking and I put it over beside the multi-cut tool. If I'm going to use this, I don't use this menu. I typically make my own little custom one and I stuff them all in here. Okay, but let's put this back and you can right click and get rid of it if you want to. So let's get the insert edge loop tool on. <clears throat> I just want to point out that this tool, because everybody asks after I show that tool that I just, you know, the multi cut, what's the difference? Well, I've got the re relative, the equal, and the multiple edge loops. So if I go and I insert an edge loop like this, bloop, and I stop it, that one did it relative. Okay, so that's like holding down control. But it gives me options, and I had to get out of the tool. I had to hit move tool or something like that to get out of it, or the select tool. Um, and then I have access to the options here, and then I can change the weight. Okay, weight along the curve. Um, and you'll notice that if I have a long curve and a, a like a longer curve or an edge and a shorter one, <clears throat> it's doing it relative to start off with. And so you'll always notice that this shorter one here is like a percentage along the along the edge. But if you want it to be exact, like if you're hard surface modeling, that's when it makes sense, then you'll put it onto absolute. Okay? And when I put it on absolute, you'll see that this weight goes pretty much exactly along the edge. Okay, and then there's multi, and I can change the amount of divisions at the time of inserting the edge loop. And this is handy, 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 handy. Those are the things I like. Um, also, too, if I'm using this tool, um, you saw that uh, insert with edge flow earlier. Let's go and find another place. What did I do? Oh, I, I took the kitty's butt away. Took his cat's ass. That's how you get rid of a cat's ass. Anyway, um, if I take this tool and I hold down shift when I'm using it, I get insert with edge flow, which is sometimes handy. See, that just kind of went in and made a perky little loop. Um, and anything else on this thing? There's the fixed quad feature, which I don't necessarily like. Auto complete <sighs> and smoothing angle sitting at 30. So that's kind of ridiculous. Put it at 180 and then you don't have to worry about it. Anything else I can say about that? That's the difference between the two tools. Maybe one more, because I want to finish this really quick. Don't forget that you've also got under mesh tools, there is the, uh, where the hell are you? Offset edge loop tool. Okay, offset edge loop. I click on this edge and I can get one on either side. God damn it. Freaking car. Okay. And, and I can change that and you see I couldn't get to it. I have to go and switch to the tool. Then I can open this up and I can change the offset amount here. 
okay? And if you hold down uh, control when you do this, you get an extra decimal point of control. Um, you can switch from relative to absolute. So if you're hard surface modeling, that makes sense. These functions also, one last little tidbit of information is if I grab this edge and I hold down control and I right click, there's edge loop utilities and there's edge loop and duplicate. This tool, the offset edge loop tool used to be called the duplicate edge loop tool long ago. And there you can do the exact same thing. It just offsets to 50% right away. Okay, great. And also too, when you hold down control and you go to, oh, let's select this edge here and I right click, there's edge ring utilities and there's edge ring and collapse and there's edge ring and split. So I grab this one, then I'll try collapsing. Collapso. Okay, and that's it. The poor little kitty. Poor little kitty's all cut up and ready for dinner. Okay, that's it.